Tonight we are tracking yet another fast moving fire, this one burning over the border from Washington into British Columbia as state fire officials warn the season is a long way from over. Plus, we're checking in with the Yakima County Sheriff's Office as they work to make sure people are staying safe on the water during the heat of summer. And I'm tracking seasonal temperatures as we head into August. Cool overnight lows and breezy afternoon winds all coming up in your first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now at 5 on your side. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner. The disagreements between Franklin County and its sheriff continue. Last week, you may remember the Franklin County Administrator's Office released a statement saying the commissioners had reached an agreement with Sheriff Jim Raymond over his use of a county credit card. Well, today, Sheriff Raymond told us that's just not true. While the use of a county credit card seems to be at the heart of this matter, Sheriff Raymond says it's just one of the many issues he's encountered in Franklin County. We, he talked with Apple Valley News Now's Anna Trejo. He says he feels it's his duty to clarify some of the statements made by both parties. A commissioner and a county auditor they want to settle everything, but they don't want to settle the financial piece. They're willing to hold out um, and take the risk. So Sheriff Raymond says he isn't suing over $21. He's suing because he says the county is violating his First Amendment rights, and he says he did nothing wrong. Sheriff Raymond says much of his trouble is stemming from the county auditor's office, but Auditor Matt Beaton tells us he doesn't know how he got dragged into this disagreement. Limited role in this, and there's very little for the auditor to say regarding any of any of the accusations or any of the what's being going on in the you know out there as far as um, press releases and 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 whatnot so Beaton says he just follows what the commissioners say and he hopes that this is all figured out soon meanwhile sheriff raymond says he isn't dropping his suit but he does want it to end quickly we're going to hear more from both sides coming up tonight on apple valley news now at six today the city of richland broke ground on a new fire station in badger mountain south while this will eventually become Fire Station 76, city officials say the facility is an integrated model with space for police and EMS as well. Planning for the station has been in the works for years because city officials were already preparing for a surge of growth. The thing that was driving this most is the tremendous rate of growth that's been in this area. And we look at response times and that's one of the measurements we use for public safety and it was getting up to where it was around 12 minutes for an EMS to be able to come to this area because they have to come up out of the Queensgate area. Now officials are hoping to have the building finished by next summer. They're also already working to hire more than a dozen firefighters to staff Station 76. Canada has already been facing its worst wildfire season on record and now a fire from Washington has crossed the border into British Columbia. The Eagle Bluff fire started in Okanagan County near Oroville on Saturday, but within a matter of hours, it had burned thousands of acres and crossed the border into Canada, forcing hundreds of people to leave their homes. Some of those evacuation notices have now been reduced, but the fire is considered 0% contained at more than 10,000 acres. And so far this year, the head of the Washington DNR says we've seen more than 1,000 fires that burned more than 80,000 acres so far. The state fire marshal's office responded to even more. They're reporting over 150,000 acres burned, and there could be a lot more to come. When folks talk about climate change and global warming, and it's, it's here. Our fire season for mobilization usually starts after Father's Day. It started in May this year. Officials say another big concern is wildfire activity west of the Cascades, where it typically isn't too widespread. And we know the state is drying out. The latest drought monitor shows most of the Washington Cascades region in moderate or severe drought. And Stacy, I'm just getting some new information tonight about a fire in the West Valley that is reportedly threatening homes. So I'm getting an update on that for just a moment. But in the meanwhile, it's just it's hot and dry out there. It is hot and dry, although seasonal 92 degrees right now on our Legends Casino sky cam in Richland. Our sunset tonight at 828. So these are just a pretty typical uh, uh, average temperatures for this time of year. It's been feeling good, uh, but it is very dry. We haven't seen much rain in quite some time. Temperatures around the area right now, 89 in Walla Walla, 88 Pendleton. It's 86 in Yakima, 85 in Ellensburg. Here's what uh, temperatures look like around the United States. Again, check out Phoenix. 
Phoenix again another day over 110 degrees there. Salt Lake clocking in at 102 today, so very warm summer temperatures continue. Clearing cool tonight, smoke and haze uh, coming into the area from some of those fires around our area. Seasonal temperatures will continue through the week, and then we'll start to see a slight chance of some thunderstorms beginning Thursday through Saturday. We'll be tracking those pretty closely. So again, clear and cool tonight. Enjoy the evening. Do a little stargazing and uh, be safe out there. I'll get tomorrow in your full first alert weather forecast. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. We know if you don't follow the rules of the road while you're driving, you get pulled over. But what you might not know is that extends to the water as well. The Yakima County Sheriff's Office does Marine Patrol, which does pull people over when they're boating, kayaking or even paddle boarding to make sure they're following safety rules. They patrol honestly life jackets is probably the biggest safety is our number one concern. So that is something that really affects um, everybody out on the water. Now again, they patrol popular recreation spots like Rimrock Lake and Bumping Lake. They say the number one thing they're looking for you just heard is the safety. It could cost you a hundred thirty dollar fine if you don't have those life jackets out there on the water. Children especially have to have life jackets on at all times when they're in the water. Adults have to have them on hand. If you don't have one for your next day trip, you can check with your local fire department and see if they have one that you can borrow for free. State Patrol says law enforcement presence on the side of I-82 between Kennewick and the Oregon border was related to a shooting investigation in Hermiston. State Patrol says Oregon State Police chased two suspects across the border into Washington and a Washington State Patrol trooper used stop sticks near Coffin Road. State Patrol says the two suspects tried to run away into the fields, but officers were able to get them into custody. Another mass shooting in the Seattle area under investigation right now. It happened during a community outreach event on Friday evening. Police say someone started shooting from a nearby parking lot towards the event, firing dozens of rounds. Four people had to be rushed to the hospital. A fifth had what police call minor injuries. It's not clear what happened before the shooting, but the Seattle police chief says this is one piece of a concerning trend in 2023. We've had recovered probably the highest amount of guns uh, since in the, in the 15 years uh, that we've been tracking this uh, ever. And, uh, and honestly, this is really disturbing when you have victims that are literally just trying to do an outreach effort, uh, trying to you know, help people out and get people on the right path. And this is what they end up getting hit with. Police say they believe there were at least two shooters, but they have not identified any suspects so far. This morning, Lori Vallow Daybell, the so-called doomsday mom from Idaho, was and convicted of killing two of her own children in 2019, was sentenced by a judge to life in prison without parole. After Vallow Daybell's seven-year-old son and 16-year-old daughter were reported missing, their bodies were later discovered buried on Chad Daybell's, her new husband's, Idaho property. She was also convicted and sentenced in conspiring to kill her husband's first wife. ABC's Melissa Adon has the latest from the courtroom. Today, Lori Vallow Daybell sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for the murders of two of her three children, seven-year-old Joshua J.J. Vallow and 16-year-old Tylee Ryan. They were found dead, burned, mutilated and dismembered and buried like animals. There's no remorse for what you did. You haven't said you're sorry. In the weeks long trial, a jury unanimously found the Idaho mother guilty of first degree murder in the deaths of the children and conspiring to kill the wife of her lover and now husband, Chad Daybell. There's a lot of hurt surrounding this case. And I think that Lori Daybell is probably the most hated woman in America right now. That hate will never bring about the healing. Lori, who was determined to be mentally ill, addressing the court before her sentencing. I have always mourned the loss of my loved ones. Tylee and JJ were last seen in September of 2019. Prosecutors say Lori and Chad, a doomsday author, believed her kids were zombies and then killed them. Months later, the couple seen dancing at their wedding on this beach in Hawaii. It was there East Idaho News captured police serving Lori with a court order to return the children to Idaho. Where are your kids? No comment. No comment. JJ and Tylee's remains were allegedly found on an Idaho property belonging to Chad Daybell after a months long search. Lori's legal team blaming Chad for their deaths. He pleaded not guilty. Daybell Vallow's brother says he hopes the sentencing brings closure to their family, while Chad Daybell is currently in jail, awaiting the start of his own trial next year. 
Melissa Don, ABC News, Los Angeles. Tonight, time is running out to cast your vote in the August primary. The deadline is tomorrow at 8 p.m. Now, unlike the general election in November, when it comes to a primary, what you see on the ballot depends on where you live. In Benton County, one of the big issues we've been tracking is the effort to recall three Richland school board members. They were voted last year to make masks optional in Richland schools, but the recall says they forced that vote without going through proper procedures. All three say that they believe they acted in students' best interests. There are also three school district director positions on the ballot and one Richland City Council opening. Prosser's mayoral primary and a port commissioner are also on the Benton County ballot. Over in Franklin County, there's only one race for the 2023 primary. That is the City of Connell Council Member Position 5. In Walla Walla County, the Walla Walla School District Director Positions 3 and 4 are up for election. There's also a measure for Walla Walla County Fire Protection District 2 for a property tax levy to maintain and fund district operations. Again, you have until tomorrow at 8 p.m. to get that ballot filled out, signed, and dropped in a ballot box. The good news is the weather shouldn't hold you up. We're taking a look outside. It is beautiful summer weather out there. Stacy Lee has a look at what to expect for the rest of this week. And still ahead on Apple Valley News Now at 5, we are tracking ongoing heat nationwide as some experts are calling July the hottest month in history. We'll be right back. We're all here to talk about her. Hello. We built her so we could get a family plan. Well, with U.S. Cellular, it's just $19.99 per line. I guess we don't need that fourth line. This is awkward. U.S. Cellular, built for us. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Introducing Blue Compass RV, formerly Appleway RV. Same location, new adventures. Come celebrate and save during our grand opening sale with up to 50% off. The best prices of the year on America's favorite brands. Plus, get a one-year VIP membership to RV Complete, including 24-7, 365, technical and roadside assistance, and much more. Wherever you roam, we'll be there. And now, save up to 50% off at Blue Compass RV, formerly Appleway RV. Okay, thanks for visiting. Bye, Alice! Eh, I'm stuck. Not funny anymore. <laughs> yes, it is. Wait, guys, the Mesozoic times are boring and have zero rat attractions. Triple play is fun. I want to stay here. Of course you can stay. Oh, fantastic. We won't regret this. Triple play has fun attractions for everyone, like bowling, Raptor Reef Indoor Water Park, and a brand new zip line ride, all attached to a cozy hotel. She's on the local already. Marketers are the worst. Sweetie pie? Yes, ma'am. I'm afraid this closet is full. Do you really need all of these shirts? I was waiting until I could fit into them again. And how's that going? Well, not so well. This closet isn't getting any bigger. How about we make some space? I guess I could pick a few out and... Good. Uh, donate them to Goodwill. Your donations to Goodwill support our local Employment Connection Center, a free walk-in job search assistance program. Good job. Goodwill. Next ET, growing up Timberlake. He's just looking at me like, what? Jessica Beale on her two sons with Justin, revealing her biggest mom fear. Devastatingly nervous. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Right now at U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. I'll trade you my PB&J for that phone. No, kid, you don't have to trade. See? $600 off any phone at U.S. Cellular. No trade-in needed. Boom. Chocolate milk. I'll take the chocolate milk. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Fun and exercise with kayaks. Fly the Northwest Tuesday. Welcome back. We are tracking breaking news tonight. West Valley Fire and Rescue officials say the Pine Hollow Fire in the West Valley area is now threatening homes. You're taking a look at the picture from the West Valley Fire and Rescue Facebook page. They are seeing level three evacuations in place for homes in the Sagebrush Heights area all the way to Slavin Road. The fire size unknown at this time. You can see it's moving pretty fast. It's still pretty big there. The local firefighters have requested that the state mobilize air resources to help them fight it. So we're going to be tracking that for you this evening and we'll continue to update you as we learn more.
Now, nationwide sweltering heat continues to intensify across the United States. Millions of Americans are bracing for what scientists have called the hottest month in history. Patrick Cornell brings us more as heat advisories and excessive heat warnings remain in place. Temperatures scorching above the triple digits across the United States as experts stamp July the hottest month on the planet in recorded history. I just feel kind of, you know, nauseated and then I feel flushed. You can feel it. Your heart rate speeds up. You know, sometimes you have a little light headache and you just feel dehydrated and you got to have your water. So I have my water right here. The historic heat wave intensifying in states like Arizona and others that have already experienced deadly impacts of extreme temperatures, prompting millions of Americans to heat excessive heat warnings from California to New York City. You gotta be like a lizard on day. Like, you gotta stay in the shade, you gotta move slowly, you know, keep the heart rate low. Otherwise, you're just gonna be sweating bullets. The European Union's Copernicus Climate Change Service notes that global temperatures are likely the highest in at least 100,000 years with the possibility of long term effects. You should be drinking in every hour or so, getting 8 to 16 ounces in if you're outside. The heat wave also hindering the battle against wildfires intensifying in states such as Nevada and California, where the York Fire has scorched 70,000 acres of the Mojave National Preserve. In this region, fire whirls or vortexes of flames and smoke are creating dangerous conditions for firefighters. I'm Patrick Cornell reporting. Now, it's concerning that July was the hottest month on record because it's winter in half of the world. The Women's World Cup is underway in New Zealand. While the U.S. is hoping to make history with a third title in the row, it won't be easy. The U.S. women's national team plays Portugal tomorrow morning, and they'll need either a win or a draw to ensure that they stay in the tournament. Here's what Megan Rapinoe had to say about the mood on the team so far. I think, of course, there's a little bit of anxiousness anytime there's... Um you know, a, a, a result that needs to be had that has a little bit of feeling to it. Um, but I think that's exciting. I think everybody knows that too. Everybody's like, okay, like we, we have to perform better and we have to get this result. We go into these moments like, hell yeah, this is exactly where we want to be. So if Portugal wins tomorrow, there is a small chance that the U.S. could still advance depending on what happens in a match between Vietnam and the Netherlands. Well, also coming up tomorrow evening, the Dust Devils begin a homestand against the Eugene Emeralds. And Benton Franklin 4-H is hoping that fans will help out the community in addition to cheering on the team. They're hosting a food drive in partnership with the Dust Devils and Second Harvest. Benton Franklin 4-H is asking everyone to bring non-perishable foods to the game tomorrow to donate. There are two goals with this food drive. Um, the first and foremost, we are donating non-perishable items to underserved communities um, through Second Harvest. And the second goal is to give some outreach to the public and tell the public what 4-H is and what we do. So we are bringing a horse trailer to this uh, food drive and we hope to fill it up with uh, food items. And we also hope that people who do come get to enjoy watching a Dust Devils game. So they'll be accepting donations tomorrow evening starting at 5.30. The first pitch is just after 7 o'clock. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. And let's take a look outside on our Dust Devil Sky Cam tonight to Giza Stadium there in Pasco. 92 degrees, a very pleasant evening. You can still kind of see that smoke and haze. It hasn't impacted our air quality locally, but some places have. Uh, winds are light at eight, mi eight miles per hour and our sunset tonight at 828. Uh, temperatures elsewhere around the area. Ellensburg at 85, 86 there in Yakima. Warmer in Toppenish at 90, 89 for Walla Walla, 88 in Pendleton. Let's plan your night out tonight in Yakima. Again, those temperatures staying down in the 80s, a very pleasant evening. Clear skies out there other than some smoke and haze. Tri-City, same thing. Clear skies. Temperatures dropping into the 80s by 7, 85 down uh, by 8 p.m. And in Walla Walla, a nice evening there. We're going to drop down to 82 degrees uh, 8 o'clock this evening. Here's our satellite and radar again. It's ridge of uh, low pressure sitting here. we got a ridge of high pressure moving in. That's going to keep us sunny and dry over the next few days. Now take a peek here in the southwest. We're seeing that wraparound moisture that we had a couple of weeks ago, a couple months ago 
Chico that brought us those thunderstorms and those will develop and continue through the week, eventually making their way north with potential uh, thunder and lightning uh, later in the week. We're talking Thursday through Saturday, so we'll keep uh, monitoring that situation. But other than that, it's going to be a pretty mild week, nice and uh, warm out there. Temperature seasonal for now. Wind speeds right now aren't too bad. Again, we are going to start to see those winds picking up in the Yakima Valley and the Ellensburg area later this afternoon. Not good for the firefighters this afternoon. Uh, Yakima could get pretty breezy later on. As we get into your day tomorrow, winds are fairly light, but again, we'll start to see those pick up in the Columbia Basin and down the Columbia River Gorge later in the evening. And once again, in those Mountain Gap areas through Yakima and the Ellensburg area as well. well let's talk about smoke. We've been seeing some smoke and haze. The good news is it's high enough up. It hasn't been impacting our air quality uh, too much uh, this evening, but you do see that smoke and haze continuing uh, into the region. And again, by midnight or so, uh, so it'll start to move to the east, clearing out, which will improve air quality for folks that were experiencing poor air quality this afternoon. Connell and Pendleton area right now in the moderate zone, Tri-Cities area, Walla Walla, Hermiston, Prosser, all looking good this evening. But again, that is the smoke and haze that you're seeing around the area. Let's take a look at our temperatures for tonight. Again, 40s and 50s, so good sleeping temperatures. Yakima 55, 51 in Sunnyside, and a cool 48 in Cleelum. Moving into the Columbia Basin, Prosser will be 53 tonight, 57 there in Hermiston, 57 Tri-Cities, 54 in Connell. And moving into the foothills of the Blues, Dayton, Walla Walla, Milton Freewater, all in those lower to mid and upper 50s overnight. So a really pleasant night again. Clear skies. You might be able to take a peek. There's a meteor shower that's going to be visible in the skies for the next couple of evenings. So go take a look tonight. Good night to do that. Tomorrow's daytime highs similar to today, maybe a few degrees warmer. And then uh, we just kind of stay here for the next couple of days. The weather pattern is pretty mild. 91 in Pendleton tomorrow, 92 Walla Walla. We'll see 94 in Tri-Cities, 91 in Yakima. All right, weather photos. Thank you to Mike. He grabbed this one. A big band of clouds above Badger Mountain and the moonrise. So good job on that. Remember to send your weather photos to Esley at applevalleynewsnow.com. Next couple of days, short-term forecast for you there. Uh, same thing, those 90s breezy winds in the Yakima Valley will stay in the 90s in the Walla Walla area as well. Uh, Seven-day planning forecast, it's on the way. Alyssa? Thanks, Stacey. And up next on Apple Valley News Now at 5, a camping trip into the Olympic Peninsula nearly ends in tragedy. We're going to hear how a mom's response to a cougar attack is credited with saving her 8-year-old's life. That's next. This newscast sponsored by Nissan. Apple Valley News Now is your television home for NFL Monday Night Football, College Football, GNA, and all the great ABC shows. Plus, Apple Valley News Now leads the way with the best local news and first alert weather. Apple Valley News Now, on your side. Saturday. Join Apple Valley News Now and the Tri-City Dust Devils for a night of baseball and fireworks as your Tri-City Dust Devils host the Eugene Emeralds, followed by spectacular fireworks. Game time's 7.05 Saturday at Giza Stadium. We'll see you at the ball game. Alien tape is strong enough to hold this fishbowl on a moving car. Just peel and stick and make anything stay in place quick. A wooden shelf, a basket to glass, rugs to the floor, and so much more. Alien tape sticks to brick, pavers, marble, tile, plastic, even leather. Nothing works better. Alien tape secures in seconds, then twist, pull, and rinse to reuse. You're dying to try it. Here's your chance to buy it. Call 1-800-284-4157 or go to tryalientape.com. That's 1-800-284-4157. I'm Buzz the Bee from The Painting Bees. We do interior painting and cabinetry as well. We have a full crew that takes care of everything, and all we really want you to do is to kick back and relax. Visit our website or call us at 591-8160. You need to lose weight, but you hate lugging out that big blender for a healthy shake. Hi, Chef Daniel Green here with my Bionic Blade, the new handheld blender that's rechargeable, so you can make a fast, healthy shake anywhere. Designed like this shake bottle you take to the gym, it has the motor and blades built right into the lid. Bionic Blade quickly creates smooth drinks just like the big blenders. But this is portable, so you can make a shake anywhere make pina coladas right by poolside, even grind coffee beans and make a quick refreshing iced coffee pick-me-up on the go. Get the Bionic Blade for just $29.99 and we'll even ship it to you free. But wait, order now and get two sipping lids, a second large blender container plus the sports lid, yours free. You'll get this entire portable blending system for just $29.99. Call or click now. 
to order, call 1-800-709-7552 or go to buybionicblade.com. So call 1-800-709-7552 or you can order online at buybionicblade.com. A kayak club outing on a beautiful mountain lake. We do weekly trips which we invite the public to come. It's a great experience out in nature. It's, it's low impact. Fly the Northwest. You get to see things that a lot of people aren't going to see. Apple Valley News Now at 6 Tuesday. Extra, extra, extra. Tim McGraw gives us a taste of his new tour. This time we're really blowing it all out. And talks family life and fitness on the road. You work out like nobody's business. Next Extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back. A terrifying experience on the Olympic Peninsula. National Park officials say on Saturday a cougar attacked an eight-year-old camping with their family at Lake Angeles. The mom responded perfectly and quickly and started yelling and screaming at this cougar. Um, it let the kid go and walked away. We're so happy that it was not a huge incident um, and that the kid is safe. Now, some trails within Olympic National Park have been shut down. Officials say they're looking for the cougar. If they find it, they will have to put it down. We'll be right back with a final check on your forecast coming up in just a moment. The best way to end your day. That is good TV. Friends, tonight at 11.05. This week, the new charges in the classified documents case against former President Trump and Mar-a-Lago staff. With the potential new indictment in the January 6th case at stake, more Americans turn to the most watched program on television. World News Tonight with David Muir. What's up at DQ? That guy's going fry first on a $7 meal deal. Ooh, or is it dessert first? These two are debating which $7 meal deal, with fries, drink, and a sundae, is the best full-size meal deal of all. Cheeseburger. Chicken strips. And he can't believe he got a full-size meal for just seven bucks. Can't believe I got a full-size meal for just seven bucks. That's a $7 meal deal, and that's what's up at DQ. Happy tastes good. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Cut your ties to the fuel pump with an electric vehicle from Overture Kia, your EV headquarters. You'll find a great selection of new vehicles in stock now. Lease a 2023 all-electric Kia Nero EV Wind for just $2.99 per month or purchase for just $41,699. Take delivery today or reserve a car that's on its way. Shop online anytime at OverturfKia.com. Overturf Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm excited to announce my original My Slippers are back in stock. You've made them a huge success, and now I've added smaller sizes, larger sizes, wide sizes, and all new colors. And with your promo code, you still save $90 a pair. Not only that, I'm having the biggest closeout sale ever on our sandals and slides for as low as $19.98. What makes my slippers different is my exclusive four layer design that you're not gonna find in any other slippers. My slippers patented layers make them ultra comfortable, extremely durable, and they help reduce stress on your feet. Wear them anytime, anywhere. So go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen now. Use your promo code to save $90 on my original my slippers, or for as low as $19.98, you can get our sandals or slides. Quantities won't last long, and with my 60-day money-back guarantee, you can rest assured they'll be the most comfortable footwear you'll ever own. Apple Valley. It's our special place we call home. From the Cascades in the west to the Blue Mountains in the east, Apple Valley News Now covers our area like no one else. On air, online, and on the go with our new mobile app. Apple Valley News Now is truly on your side. Next live, Julia Stiles. I'm not wrong. I'm never wrong. You're so right that it's wrong. It's the small victories. <laughs> Tomorrow at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Coming up new tonight on Apple Valley News Now at 6, a Granger police officer is accused of sexual assault and a judge has now signed off on a 10-year protection order for the woman who reported it. We're taking a closer look at those court documents coming up 
after World News tonight. But for right now, let's take a final look at that forecast. It's pretty nice out there, Stacy. Not <laughs> too bad today. It did warm up. We hit the mm -hmm. 90s finally, but it's pretty seasonal right now. Let's take a look at our week ahead in Yakima again. Those temperatures stay pretty normal for all the way through Friday, and then we'll start to see a gradual warm up heading into the weekend and the first part of next week. We are going to see those breezy winds, and especially in the mountain gaps and the uh, in the east slopes there of the Cascades near uh, Yakima and uh, through the Kittitas Valley as well. So a little bit breezy out there. Those overnight lows, though, pretty comfortable at night. <clears throat> Excuse me, in Tri-Cities, we'll stay in those 90 degree temps. A little bit warm there on Wednesday, and then we'll start to warm up heading into the first part of next week as well. Again, don't forget, tomorrow's August 1st, so wave goodbye to July. It's almost gone. And in Walla Walla, weather looking lovely there as well. Again, we'll start to see the warmer temps as you get into your Sunday, Monday next week. But overall, very seasonal. We are tracking some possible thunderstorms later in the week, Thursday through Saturday, mainly in the Blue Mountains or the Wallawas. So I might have to make a trip, you're saying, if I want to catch that thunderstorm. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Stacy. Thank you so much for watching. World News Tonight with David Muir is next. We're back tonight at 6.